So as you can see, this one was wrong. So I've got to get rid of it. And uh, these are most likely the right ones. So any of these will work. Uh, so I'm going to use the first one that's got less offsets. So um, you see that notepad file we did earlier. So we're just going to expand on that. Get rid of this crap out of our screen just so we can focus. And there you go. So we do that, and we're going to go enemy coordinates. And you'll always get this when you do pointer scan. So I'll explain to you when we do it. Our base, this is our base right there. It's the initial, the beginning of memory plus that address there. But don't worry about that. So we've got four and F4 for our offsets. Offsets. Oops. Offsets. Uh, F4 in theory is going to be, I believe, 3, 0 because we're going to do F4 minus C4, which means we're going to start right at the beginning. Now, if you'd like to confirm this, that's fine. So let's just to confirm this for you guys. I'm going to go to this address. So let's write this address here down. Okay. So zero, oops, zero B, capital B, uh, E one F B ninety four, and that's my address there. Copy your own and have a look at it. Click on Memory View Tools, dissect data structures, put that address there. Define. Uh, just click the old one if you have to. As you can see, straight to the health. Now, if you take away C four from this, let's open up the calculator. Hope this isn't getting any confusing for you guys. Uh, and do minus C4, which is the address minus uh, C4 to get to our base. Hopefully that will give us that place. And it puts us in this place. So as you can see, um, see this one went straight to float, which isn't what happened with our one, but theirs goes straight to float. But as you can see, that's their position on the map. There's their Y position, there's their X and Z. Okay, and that's all we need. And then if we go to C4, we should see the health, but that's because we took we just did minus, so let's see 4, C4, 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 uh, C4, there it is, that's their health right there, so if we do 1 and just take a quick shot at them, we'll kill them, there you go, straight straight away, quick shot, dead, alright, so that should be it, so now we've got our players' coordinates, and we've got all the memory that we need for our aimers, now, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys, uh, I really hope we got the right pointers, but we'll find out soon enough anyway, I'm going to leave this open just in case we don't, and that way we just do another pointer scan and it will get us more uh, deeper into memory um, so I'm going to minimize cheat engine, I'm going to minimize this and that should have all we need uh, close this game crap and um, yeah I'm happy with this so what we're going to start now with is with the writing of code, this is a simpler part which is just literally you following me hopefully understanding what I'm talking about um, is the trainer, we actually leave that open, that's usually useful and uh, yeah so I'm going to start Let's just jump back into the coding. Then. Okay, so uh, let's jump back into this uh, our app, and uh, we're going to start with a couple of things. So, on your files required folder, you should have. So let's go to it, and there you go. You should have a class called Process Memory Reader. Now, this is something. Um, just before we start with the proper programming, I'd like to tell you that um, I've got two people that I'd like to give credits to uh, for this tutorial. Now, um, Kibbles18, uh, you know who you are, and Pingo. Uh, Pingo because he released his Halo C um, code a long time ago and that was really useful uh, a while ago when I did my first uh, C Sharp aimbot and it was really nice to see his code even though I probably have got like one line or two from it I still you know found the logic very good and really interesting and Kibbles18 because you released your Assault Cube aimbot which helped me with the final bit of maths for this or at least it was a line of code uh, to do the um, uh, the ATAN uh, and that was really useful as well um, so yeah, so the class we'll be using is um, I can't put a break point now. That's weird. Uh, the class we'll be using is the process memory reader. Now this is why um, we need this because we're doing it in C sharp. Now if I go and uh, well, might as well just import this straight away. There's no point. Um, so just go here, Solution Explorer, click right click add add existing uh, item. If you want to go here, um, oops. So you want to go here and just copy this and put this in your folder here, and then just select it. We want to add that class to our, uh, to our process because it's it's very useful. And this is what we're going to use to write in read memory. So using uh, I believe it's called. I'm just going to get my other code. Um, it's called uh, process memory reader. And this class was originally created by um, by Pingo. Um, although I have you know, edited it a fair bit and um, added my own stuff to it. But yeah, um, 
we'll be using some of his original functions. So what we want to do here is we want to go. So I'm just going to write that there. Uh, import. So we import the class, and then we cr we're going to create our struct, which is our player info um, class and um, object uh, file. Well, basically, it's a couple of classes in one. I'm a bit confused right now because I was trying to read something and explain it at the same time. So I'm going to add new item to our class uh, project, should I say? And it's going to be class. I'm going to call this one player info dot cs. Okay. And what this is going to be, we're going to write this one very quickly straight away because, right, here we go, I'm just going to make sure I've got everything zoomed in because I know you guys like seeing it, uh, you know, nicely maximized. So player info, uh, first thing you want to do is get rid of this because we don't want that. And we're going to do, um, we're just using this, you know, to, to hold our structs and classes. So I've got to move my mic because it's in front of my screen. All right, so first thing we're going to do is going to go public. We've got to make sure it's public because otherwise um, we won't be able to access it outside of it. Data ADDR. Now, let me. We'll write this quickly and then I'll explain what it does. Public int x mouse. Uh, we do the same for y mouse. Let's do copy and pasting. Uh, actually, going to copy and paste uh, public in a couple of times. Just leave uh, public in on your copied x position. Y position, and now we're using this because we want to try and keep a nice, clean, um, object-oriented approach. Obviously, because you know, this way things, everything, pretty much becomes easier. And now the reason why these are all ints, in in theory, within the game, these are floats. And the reason why, we're, and same with these, the reason why we've got these as ints is because these aren't storing the contents of that memory address. These are storing the memory address. So, for example, instead of storing, for example, 100 health. It will store zero times one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, uh, which is the memory address. And now we're going to be doing our constructor right here. So it'll be public. They pretty much know what we're going to use anyway. So let's just let them do it for us. Um, and we're going to go int x mouse. And this is just so it, you know, it gets created straight away. We don't have to do any a ton of work for it. Int y mouse. Int x Pause. Uh, oh, I made a mistake there, but I'll fix that in a second. Next pause. Uh, so I'll fix it now, actually, and then just copy these a ton of times. As well. So that should be Y, and that should be Z. And then the final one is int um, health. So health. And that's. I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit, and that should be good enough for you guys to see. And obviously, what you're going to be doing is. Oh, not mouse, just X mouse. X mouse. Yeah. So what you guys are going to be seeing is X mouse equals. No, no, no. Um, copy that. Oh come on. Let's copy this again to, for the second one. I'm trying not to rush too much, but I have to go do something in a little while, and I don't, I don't like coming back to the tutorial after a couple of hours. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this uh, nicely uh, without too much trouble. So X pause equals bars and then let's just copy this a bunch of times it's usually when I'm making tutorials my copy and paste always screw me over so I want to try and be very careful not to do that so health equals um, health but there you go so mouse equals mouse mm -hmm. yeah that seems fine uh, great stuff so that's our um, class that is going to store all the memory addresses and what we do with this is to make sure we don't keep grabbing uh, the information at all times on every loop and every uh, time and tick, we store it. We store the memory addresses, and then whenever we need that information, for example, when calling the aimbot, we take the information from here. We say, "Oh, let's move the mouse." So we're going to grab player data dot x mouse, and then we'll grab the mouse and we move him. That way, this makes our program a little bit faster, and we're not always grabbing the information until we need it. Okay, so. Um, that should hopefully keep our player data addresses nicely. Now, our next thing to do is um, so to close that. We're going to do a separate. I believe this is going to be a struct. Uh, so public struct. Now, if you're wondering the differences between structs and um, classes, there aren't many. But I, I just prefer doing classes when there is um, when the constructors is involved. Even though I know you can do constructors with structs as well. I uh, hopefully that was all fine. X mouse, Y mouse, X mouse. Yeah, that's all fine. So player data. Now this is the thing. 
that is going to make the most of these addresses. So, um, like I said to you, we're trying to make a very um, actually. I see, no, that's fine. Uh, we're trying to make a very object-oriented, um, you know, uh, aimbot here. So we're trying to go for nice, um, nice code. Nice. Um, what's it called? Uh, I don't know what the word is. I, I had this uh, job interview a while back, and we were talking about it. How you got to make sure you have a good coding practices. That's it. That's the one. Because um, in the end, you're just going to confuse yourself if you don't do that. So public player data address. Now, what we're doing here, oops, offsets is what I'm going to call this one. Even though it's fairly relevant. And what these these are going to keep is the offsets to all these. So um, we have the player's base address. We have multi-level, which is how deep is the pointer. And then we have the offset, which contains all this information, okay? Which t tells us, you know, wh what address is mouse stored at, you know? So you don't have to declare all these down here. And you'll see that in theory, it'll, it'll be more practical to do it this way. Okay, so we do another struct now, uh, public struct, uh, player data vec. And now, if you don't know anything about vectors, all you need to know um, is that this isn't a vector. Um, a vector is usually just um, a series of. Um, three or two coordinates depending if it's a 2D or a 3D vector but usually it's just the coordinates of a player so that's the initial intention of this when I when I was doing this that's what it, what it was but um, a vector is uh, something uh, that holds three um, three coordinates that's all you need I kind of said that twice there but for ours we're going to store all the important stuff for our player so as you can see we're using the exact uh, variable types and what this is going to be used for is for temporary um, storage. So uh, we, when we need the variables, we're going to go and grab that data into this um, into this uh, object, because as you can see, our Y mouse is afloat. And same for our so just copy that if you like. X pause. Same for our X pause, Y pause, and Z pause. Oops, Y pause and Z pause. And usually, if this was to be a vector, this is all it would be. But this is our player data. It's, think of it as um, you can just call it that. It doesn't really matter. But then we call it that already, so it's fine. You know, we do things how we want. You know, we know what we're doing, don't we? So let's do that. Health and uh, sorry, health is an integer. My bad. So public int health. And all we do is when we need the information, we just grab it and store it in one of these, and then we access it very nicely. Okay. So float X mouse, huh? uh, yeah. So this is where our content's going to go, and that's pretty much our play info complete. So good stuff. Uh, what we're going to start with now is I'm going to check my notes quickly. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, create player info. I've done that. Now we're going to declare all globals, global variables. Um, this is way too into it. So public partial. Blah, blah, blah. So process. Yep. Going to have to include some more things here. So using System dot globalization. That's always useful. I believe that is for our process uh, uh, diagnostics. We need as well using system dot diagnostics. And when you're dealing with hacking and C sharp, is you're you're always going to need to um, import some functions that you wouldn't. So for example, you see on that uh, thingy we used earlier, the thing that we import imported. As you can see, it's got a lot of DLL imports here, which is stealing functions from uh, good old C plus plus. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Uh, let's go and get into this so process. My process. Oops, do that capitals. Process. Uh, process module. Actually, hang on a second. This might not be necessary. Uh, yeah, I believe we need that as well. No, no, no. Yeah, we're going to need that. So, process. Uh, module. Main module, process, memory, oops, memory reader, mem equals new process memory reader. So just let it all complete for you. And uh, player data, this is our beautiful um, class that we just created a second ago, or struct, I'm not sure which one it is not right now, equals new player data. That's it. Um, now we're going to be using regions for this because I, I think they organize things a bit. So I'm just going to do that. 